up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at the 2019 Detroit Auto Show, walking around the Kia booth, and I came across another refreshed, redesigned Kia. This is the 2020 Kia Forte GT. Now, remember, Kia has been in this renaissance, this resurgence with their Stinger GT. They're coming out with the Telluride, their largest SUV ever. What they decided to do is they decided to go after their compact car, get it up to par with what Honda, Hyundai, and some of the other manufacturers are doing. With this Kia Forte GT, you're gonna get a little bit of extra sporty feel because what they did in the 2020, they ripped out that two liter that only had 147 horsepower, and underneath this hood is an all new 1.6 liter, surprise, surprise, putting out 201 horsepower, turbocharged engine. Now, remember, the reason why I say surprise, surprise is because 51% of Kia is owned by Hyundai. Think about it. Hyundai engine, 201 horsepower in the Veloster Turbo, in the Elantra GT. Here it is in the Forte GT. You can see for 2020, I love the styling. They're taking the aggression in this car that was pretty bland for a long time. Love the headlights, love that Kia grille. Kia's doing a great job with branding the front design of their car. You park this next to an Optima, you park this next to a Stinger, you know it's a Kia. The biggest thing that Kia has a problem with is gonna be that emblem, the, the Kia emblem. It's not very sexy, but you know, they're doing a better job with the black, with the silver. I love on the GT, not only the style of the headlights, but also as you transition down, I really like the marker lights. And then even though these vents are not functional, they're not too over the top like on the Civic Type R. As we go across here, I like this lower portion that's open, and it's unique how they took the fog lights and placed them on the front of this 2020. It's kind of crazy to say that, Kia Forte GT. Let's go ahead and look at the side. I love this blue. Under these lights, it sparkles like a diamond. As we come to the wheels, great job what they're doing here. So as you can see on this Kia, these are Michelin's Pilot Sport tires. You know, so the 4S tire, it's a good, durable tire that's gonna give you some grip but also give you that daily driving. I love the size of the wheel. It's an 18 inch wheel. I like how they brought some red in with the Kia logo. Even red painted calipers that are peeking behind the wheel. And if you check out those rotors, they're cross drilled and slotted and ventilated. So this thing is gonna have some stopping capability compared to just your standard Forte. Uh, Forte. As we continue down the side, I like the use of the gloss black in the mirrors up onto the roof. Nice size sunroof, it isn't panoramic style, but that's okay, especially at this kind of price point. We keep working our way down the side. I love the lower sill. Really just gives it a nice cohesive look from the front of the car to the back of the car. But definitely there are particular things on this car that shows Kia's intention, that they want this to be something a little bit more sporty, especially when you look at cars like the Honda Civic Sport, Honda Civic Si, things of that nature. As we work our way back, full four door, and wrap it around. I really like just the simplistic trunk lid spoiler, nothing aggressive, nothing too crazy, but it gives it a nice look to the rear end. And speaking of the rear end, I think overall, they did a really good job. Now, I'm not really a big fan. If I'm gonna zonk it, it's just like on the Kia Stinger GT. I'm not a big fan of this going from one light to the other. The reason why is it doesn't light up at night and it's just a little too much red. So I would say get rid of that, have the two separate lights, but I do like down on the bottom, the lower diffuser area, and I liked how they didn't cheap out on the exhaust. They could have just went with a single exhaust. This is a Kia GT, love the emblem, love the dual exhaust, and I like the little bit of red. It all plays in together and really wraps it up well. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a look at that new 1.6 liter turbocharged engine putting out 201 horsepower. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood, 2020 Kia Forte GT. Like I said, they got rid of the two liter, inline four, that's that 1.6 liter inline four turbocharged engine putting out 201 horsepower. What's wonderful is guess what, enthusiasts, you could get this Forte GT with an automatic or with this one is mated to a six speed transmission. It just goes to show that guess what, once upon a time back in 1994 when Kia started selling cars here in the United States and they only had two models, the Sportage and the Sophia, they're now stepping up their game and really bringing some stuff to market that's generating a lot of attention. Even at the Detroit Auto Show this year, the display that Kia has is just second to none. Let's go ahead and check out the interior 
of this Kia Forte GT. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are inside the 2020 Kia Forte GT. Actually, pretty nice place to be. Let's check out the door panel. So you can see that they're using some nicer materials, nice leather on the armrest. I like the red contrast stitching, and I like the gloss black around the door handle. Gives it a nice upscale feel, and I also like how the speaker dots go all the way into the middle of the door panel. Just something a little bit different to kind of spice it up. Harman Kardon, great brand when it comes to sound. As we transition onto the dash, it's really actually pretty spacious in here. So I like the way that the dash is pushed forward. It's kind of lower, it, and to be honest with you, it feels a little bit like uh, Elantra GT in this car. There's that tablet size screen, very large, eight inches in diameter. I like the simplicity of the buttons. Everything very sleek. You get dual auto climate control. Here is, like I said, six-speed transmission. The throws are a little bit long, but you know what? It's actually pretty precise and very crisp. I really, really like that. You have heated seats, and down here in this nice little cubby, you got USB, and you got some power sources, actually two USBs in here. Very, very nice that they would have that. If I'm gonna zonk this area, I'd like to see a little bit of a door. i like to see a door come in and close it up. Finally, on these seats, all leather. I love the design of it. It almost looks Italian-esque, the way that they got the ribbing to it. I like the embroidery of the GT logo on the back here and the red contrast stitching, and they're really, really comfortable. I'm six feet, 200 pounds, and they really snug me well. Why don't you come over to the driver's side, and I'll show you the business end of things. All right, guys, here it is, the business end. Like I said, seat is comfortable. I'm gonna zonk it, there's not electric capability on this one, it's all manual, but you can get it to a really good place where you want it to be. The steering wheel, what can I say? It reminds me of the Stinger GT, it's a good size, good thickness, I like the leather, I like the red contrast stitching, and I really think it's smart to put some GT branding in here to really separate it from the regular Kia Forte. Very simplistic on the gauges, but that's not a bad thing. You got a nice analog tachometer, analog speedometer, and a digital readout in the center. Obviously, it's telling me hoods open, trunks open, doors open. Air vents taken from the, the uh, Stinger. I like how they move. When you open and close the vents, it's a very nice click. So that's a great feel. This one has a sunroof. So with the sunroof, it is a little bit closer to my head, but there's still plenty of room here. Speaking of room, let's go ahead and check out the back seat. As you can see, guys, in the back seat, actually not too bad. There's a pretty good amount of headroom back here. I left the seat where I would normally drive with it, and I still got some pretty good room but between my knees. I like the way it's plastic, so if anybody's rubbing, your kids are kicking it, it's not gonna rip up the leather material. The passengers have uh, air conditioning controls back here, and overall, not too bad. What I do want to show you is a little bit surprised. When we talk about Kia really up in their game, let's go take a look at this Forte over here. This thing is amazing. So sitting here on display is this Kia Forte based off the one we just looked at. This is where you take that racing magic, that racing technology, and you turn a beast into this massive rear wing. You can see just how wide they went with the body work. Remember, it's all about getting that utmost performance. And in a brand where we never thought that Kia would be about performance, that's what they're bringing. Let me show you some more of this because this thing is such a showstopper at this year's Detroit Auto Show. Really, really like the Red Bull graphics. I love all the foils. It really reminds me of a German touring car from, uh, you know, I'd say late 90s, early 2000s. One of my favorite parts is up here on the front end. You could just see how massive the width is of this Kia Forte race car. You got that carbon fiber front splitter that's gonna give you the downforce, obviously fully adjustable. Look at the extra width of the bodywork for aerodynamics and downforce. Really, really cool what Kia's doing. And like I said, one of probably the best displays at this year's Detroit Auto Show. But if these are the types of things you like to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you are new and you haven't subscribed yet on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. I really appreciate your love and support. You know my social media. It's all Radies Rides original content. Check out those. If you want some merch, click the button above my head. That'll take you right to Spreadshirt. And of course, we can't forget my favorite woman in my life, Lori, camera woman of the year. She actually received an award here from YouTube at the Detroit Auto Show. So thank you, Lori, for accepting that award on 
the honor of Rady's Rise, but also on the honor of yourself. Namaste. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.